Today we'll talk about strings and characters. A string can be constructed with a string initializer. So let s equal to string. This will construct an empty string. And it is effectively the same as let s1 equal to empty string. And you can check if a string is empty by doing uh, s1 is empty is empty is a property of the string. Like we talked about last time, a string can be concatenated with another string with addition sign. So they are s2 equal to s1 plus um, hello. Then s2 is a string of hello. One important thing to note is that string is value type which means if I do let s3 equal to s2, I'm making a copy of s2 to s3. In other words, they are not referencing to the same string. They are different copy of the string. Now let's talk about characters. I can create a character, let c, which is a character equal to dot. So this is a character of dot. Note that if I do let c1 equal to dot, c1 is actually a string, not a character. A string can be formed with other data types. For example, let age equal to 45. And I can construct a string like this. s2 equal to my age is age. So s2 will have my age is 45. And if I want to count how many characters I have in a string, I can do this. Count elements s2. And it will return the value of 12 because it has 12 characters. Now let's look at how string is implemented. In Swift, string is Unicode compliant. What does that mean? It means, first of all, a string can use almost any character from any language. So it is very, very powerful. And secondly, under the hood, each character is represented with a unique 21-bit number, which is called Unicode Scalar. Let's look at some examples. Here, Unicode 24 is the dollar sign. Unicode 2665 is a spade. 1F496 is a heart. 65 is E. And 301 is accurate accent sign. Now here's something interesting. If I put 65 followed by 301, I actually got an E with accurate accent sign on top. So this is one character, and it is represented with two Unicode scalar. And interestingly, there's another Unicode, E9, which represents the same character. So these two are the same character, as far as Swift is concerned. So if I do this kind of comparison, the result is equal. So what you need to remember is, in Swift, a character can be represented more than one Unicode scalar. And a character can also be represented with different form of Unicode scalar. This kind of Unicode scalar combination is actually very powerful. For example, I can do 65 followed by 20DD, which is a letter E surrounded by a circle and 65 followed by 11ab is e followed by this strange character from Korean language. And this is one character. Sometimes you have two characters that look exactly the same, but they are not considered to be same. For example, we have a Unicode 41, which is the Latin letter A, and Unicode 410, which is the La Russian letter A and they look exactly the same. But if you compare them, they are different characters. 
This means it could be dangerous if you compare two strings when Unicode is involved. The two strings may look exactly the same, but they are not the same as far as Swift is concerned. Another thing to watch out is sometimes even if you append something to a string, uh, it doesn't necessarily increase the length of a string. For example, I have a string called apple and the length of the string is 5. Then I append the Unicode 20DD to the string. It got a circle around the last letter E and the length is still 5. However, Swift also provides you a way to look at the raw Unicode scalar value of the string. For example, for scalar in string.unicodeScalars, print scalar.value. This will print out each and every raw value of the Unicode scalars. And if you look at the printout, they are six integer values. Lastly, let me introduce two handy functions of the string, has prefix and has suffix, which checks if the string has certain prefix or has certain suffix. Notice that the space is not ignored and the comparison is case sensitive. That's all for now. Feel free to subscribe to my channel and see you next time.